Hey, I'm Danica, and today I'll be taking you through a 10-minute no-jumping cardio workout. A few of the exercises will be on the ground, so if you want to, you can use a mat, but I will not be. None of the exercises will require jumping. Let's get started. For the first exercise, we're going to do a squat with a reach. You're going to go down into a squat with your knees not going over your toes and then you're going to reach up into the air by going on your tippy toes. The squat will target your quads and then the reach will target your calves. Next up, we're going to do a bicycle squat. You're going to do a squat and then touch your opposite elbow to your opposite knee. This will benefit your legs, but it will also benefit your core. For this one, we're going to do a squat hold and then reach our arm above our head. You should get a tempo going that feels comfortable for you. This will benefit both your quads and it will stretch out your side. burpees are the same thing as typical burpees. There is just no bouncing or jumping involved. If you want to challenge yourself, you can add a jump at the top and bounce to get into the push-up position. Next up, plank plus sit back. You're going to get into a plank position with your back being parallel to the ground and then you're going to sit back. Make sure that your feet are not touching each other. Plank with a toe touch. You're going to go from being in a plank position to going up to downward dog so that you can touch your toes. If your shoes are sliding on the surface that you are um, working out on, then you can just hold a downward dog position. To do a step up plank, you're going to get into a typical plank position and then step your feet up. Make sure to alternate which foot starts the motion. One important thing with this exercise is that you have to keep your back flat. Make sure that it doesn't dip down or arch up. Now we are going to repeat all the exercises again. Even if you're feeling sore or tired, push through. This is where the most progress takes place. I understand that this workout might be challenging. Just think about why you started. What goal are you trying to achieve? While doing these bicycle squats, make sure that your elbows stay far apart because if they don't, you won't get as much twist which will defeat the purpose of the exercise because you'll lose the activation in the core. Squat plus stretch. If you can, continue to do the stretch because that will stretch out your side and will 
burn your legs a little bit more, but if you need to, like I do, you can just do a typical squat hold. While doing silent burpees, make sure that when you go down into your plank position, your back is parallel to the ground, and then when you stand up, go on your toes to get a burn in your calves. with a sit back. So you're going to go into a typical plank and then you are going to bend your knees and push back. Make sure that your back is parallel to the ground when you are in your plank position and then when you bend back your knees should be pointing outwards. Plank with a toe touch. If you need to decrease the intensity of this exercise, you can just hold the downward dog position. It's okay if you have to do that, but if you can, push through. We will be getting a break soon. step up plank you're going to get into a plank position and then step your toes up. Alternate which foot starts the motion. Make sure that your back is always flat. Your butt may go higher in the air but make sure that your back is not arching upwards or downwards. Let's take a break. Sumo squat with an arm raise. A sumo squat is different than a typical squat because your toes are pointing outward and your feet are farther than shoulder width apart. The addition of the arm raise will benefit your shoulders. Next up, bicycle crunches. If you would prefer not to lay on the ground, you can stand up and do the squat plus bicycle crunch that we did previous in this workout. While doing this exercise, make sure that your shoulder blades stay off of the ground. I know this could be challenging, just keep up the good work. To do an ab hold, you are going to lift your legs and shoulder blades off the ground. The lower that your legs are to the ground, the harder that this exercise will be. up mason twists. While doing this exercise, make sure that your abs are engaged. To do this, make sure that you're thoroughly turning from left to right. Also, if you need to, you can put your feet on the ground, but if you can, try to lift them up so that this exercise will also require balance. Spider plank. To 
do this, you are going to get into a plank position and then bring your knee to your elbow. While doing this exercise, it will be important to keep your core engaged. To do so, keep your back flat and parallel to the ground. For the last 30 seconds of this workout, we are going to do child's pose. This will stretch out your back, arms, and legs. Well done. Please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks for watching. Bye!